I'm Teron Jordan, missionary with CCI, Crossing Coaches International. Hi, Redland Hills. This is your 28 days of prayer. I want to talk with you about Revelation chapter 7. And as the chapter opens, there's four angels at the four corners of the earth. And another angel shouts out, Do not hurt the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Two things. God is clearly giving us time. And the next thing, it is all for his people. It's not because of creation, how lovely and grand it is. All the grandiose pictures we may capture in dealing with adventures and sunsets and sunrises. No, it's about his people. Now, because he's given us time, are you acting with a sense of urgency? What can you do to aid God in the spread of the gospel? Are you acting as a co-heir, joint heir with him? Do you feel responsible? Are you doing your part, participating in the Great Commission? And then on down in the chapter, turn your attention to verse 9. It says, After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Verse 10, And cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God which sits upon the throne and to the Lamb. This is all nations. 144,000 because of the 12 tribes of Israel, 12,000 from each tribe. That is a many, many people. And they come from all nations, all nations. Get that, the world is very, very big. And some of us just want to stay around our own front porch. There's nothing wrong with doing work around your own front door. The problem is when you make or you put your feet down and say, I'm not going nowhere else. This is all I'm going to do. So let us not just um, blot out God, oppose him, and not get outside our comfort zone. Let God be God. Act um, and submit along with him. Uh, be responsible. Unreached people are all over, and God wants all of them to know the gospel to be saved. That is why he made people. He made you to participate. He wanted you to be in right relationship so that you can send the right message to others so that they too can be free. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. So let us participate with God in the plan of salvation. Unreached people, like I say, there's a lot of them. There needs to be more activity, more people of God getting involved. All nations, the world is very big. Where can you go? Whom can you walk arm in arm with? Who can you connect with? Well, in my area, there's many, many nations. Uh, to name a few, I would say Malaysia and the India subcontinent, Pakistan, India, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka. So there's many people groups that you can connect with, and I'm pretty sure you probably have some next to you, okay? So let us pray together that all of us get to know our brothers and sisters. Believe it or not, we help each other grow, and we need each other to survive. Thank you. Let's pray together. In Spanish, Jesus Cristo. Bengali Yeshu, Hindi Isa Masi, Malay Nabi Isa, Telugu Yeshu Prabhu, Punjabi Yesu Masi, Nepali Yesu Krista, Urdu Hazute Saleya Salam. Jesus Christ, we need you. We want you, Lord, to catapult us into the nations, into the world, no matter how big it is, you can navigate us, Lord, and we trust you with our life. We've given it all, Lord, for the sake of the gospel. Help us, Lord, to bear our cross. Take us from here to another corner of the world. Help us, Lord, to 
have what you have in mind. Help us to know your will. Give us fresh revelation. Help us to get outside of our own comfort zone. Let us not be stagnant and so comfortable that we are afraid to move. Let not fear stop us, God. Do a new thing right where we stand. And in this 28 days of prayer, Lord, I want to come out fresh and shining. Help me, God, personally be vibrant for the sake of the gospel and be joy because I'm a joint heir with you partaking in the spread of the gospel. Lord, the Great Commission is near and dear to your heart. Let me also have it near and dear to mine. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.